Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Lunar Dragon Song, which I've decided to revisit on the grounds that maybe you'll have complained about the visuals in the original Let's Play, because I widened the footage instead of leaving it in its native um, format, just to fill out the screen. I'm not sure what I'll put on the sides so I can keep this one the right size, because I don't like leaving a bunch of black space all around the game, but I guess I'll figure that out as we go, right? Yeah. Long, long ago. This was a dead world without grass, without trees, without even air. Then came the goddess Althena, her servant the dragon master, and the four dragons. Althena's magical power gave moisture to the earth and transformed the deserts of death into a lush paradise. The world became aware of life and embraced it. This reborn planet became the home of countless people, living under the watchful gaze and blessed by the goddess Althena. The dragon master vowed eternal loyalty to the goddess was appointed as master of the four dragons to protect the harmony of the world. God Althena became the source of life, the center of this magical world. The beastmen, blessed with powerful bodies, swift reflexes, and brimming with vitality, they excelled physically. And mirroring them the humans, blessed with intellect and the ability to use complex tools but, without, but with smaller, weaker bodies. As time passed, the relationship between these two races began to lean in favor of the beastmen. The dynamic beastmen built a magnificent castle and loved a luxurious, rich lifestyle. The humans desiring quieter surroundings moved away from the cities. These opposing lifestyles placed reasonable distance between the two races, creating a balance and ultimately aiding the maintenance of a lasting peace. Turn now to the flourishing Port Sierras in the continent of Kaldor. A youth who loves acrobatics named Gian Campbell is making a living here as a courier along with his friend Lucia Collins. The pair of them love excitement, especially when spiced with just a little danger. It's morning? Good night's sleep. Anyway, huh, Lucia's already left, has she? My name is Jean Campbell. I've worked for Gads Express as a courier for a while now, and recently I linked, teamed up with this girl named Lucia Collins. We both love excitement and adventure. Working as couriers can sometimes land us in risky situations, but that's all part of the fun. We love after practice and standing on my head, and I do have quite a soft spot for Lucia. Maybe. Right then, I'd better go looking for Lucia. She's always angry when I oversleep. And running in this game does hurt you, but we can heal in the town center, so I'm not too worried about losing a few hit points. Hmm. Jean all alone? Yeah, I'm looking for Lucia, actually. Oh, really? Well, then. How about spending a little time with me instead? Sorry, Karen. Not right now. Maybe next time. Oh, Jean. You're such a tease. I don't know why they have you lose health when you run. It would make more sense to have given you, like, a stamina meter or something. Ah, oh, Jean. Finally, you grace us with your presence. Wish I could afford to oversleep every day. And if you're looking for Alusha, she already left. Try the Fountain Square. Ah, great. Nothing here. Okay. Our workplace, maybe? Or at the very least, we might get information here. Hey, Jean, aren't you with Lucia? Better set, get out there and find her, then. I bet she's looking for you because what's the one team member without the other. Come back once you've found her. Ugh, oh, just find a shop for a while. Don't worry. I'm allowed to sell stuff. The sad part is they don't sell anything that restores your MP here. You can get HP heals, but not... MP heals anywhere in this game, at least at a store. You can find a few in treasure chests, but they don't drop from enemies. There's no way to get really any more than what you can find like find in treasure chests. That's it. That's all you get. And it's really annoying to me. I don't like being handicapped like that because it means you have to rely on the cards to get more MP back. And I don't like hunting for the cards because I'd rather get experience from fights rather than items. Today then, um, somewhere. Am I gonna have to explore the entire town just to find her? 
I know she's gonna be in the town square at some point. Uh. Oh, here we go. There's her parasol, at least. I'm gonna have to start walking around here pretty soon. Hey, this is Lucia's parasol. What's it doing here? But she left this behind. I guess she can't have gone far. I'll just wait here, then. Come on. Why is he standing on his head? Oh, Jan, honestly, will you ever be able to wake up at a reasonable time? Sorry. Told you yesterday, didn't I? We have to take this package to Pert Village today, remember? Of course I remember. No need to get so worked up about it. Your cute face will get all wrinkled if you don't watch out. Oh, Jian, comments only work for 30 minutes waiting. I've been here for three hours. If we don't get going soon, we won't make it back before sunset. Oh, of course. You don't like being outside at night, do you? I think that's perfectly reasonable. Anyway, forget that for now. We'd better get over to Gaz Express and pick up that package. We must not delay any de this delivery any longer. Just calm down, Lucia. Take a deep breath. Seriously, you really don't do worry too much. That package isn't going to up and run off. Enough talk already, especially if you have nothing nice to say. Come on, let's go. I'm surprised she didn't just smack him in the face with the um, parasol right there. Like, just bam. Um, well, let's go over to Gaz Express and pick this package up slowly. Um, so far as I can only get one job, this one. Which sucks. Thankfully, we aren't ever forced to do any jobs here ever again after this. But there is a fast way of making money through those, but not until about halfway through the game, if not a bit further. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a chest that unlocks so we clear out all the enemies in this area. So you'd have to defeat six of them. Problem is, I don't know where these six enemies are at. Well, I'll take the healing gum, because it's free. I guess they're waiting for me across the bridge. No! Oh no! This is bad! Our package for delivery has been stolen! It's worse than bad. Gene, what should we do? If Gad finds out about this, our careers are finished! Fired for sure. How can you be so calm? Get with it, Jean. If we don't get that package back, I'm with it. I'm with it. Okay, so we can't go back to Port Sierra's. Let's try Parrot Village. Ask around, see what we can learn. Yeah, that sounds good. But one thing, we can't let anyone know what has happened. If this gets out, our reputations are finished. Yes, yes, I know. Really do worry too much, you know. Damn, stinking Sasquatch is stealing our stuff. Sadly, the battle system in this game reminds me very much of Final Fantasy XIII. You have very little control over it. If you choose attack, you'll just attack whoever. Which really sucks, in my opinion. I like having way more control than they let you have in this game. And the wrong way you have to like make noise in the mic, which equally sucks in my opinion. Uh, oh come on. And yeah, your first attack always seems slightly weaker than your following attacks. I don't get why. I'm sure there's some hidden reason behind it somewhere in the manual, maybe. And yeah, you start out without being able to um, gain experience turned on. You'll get items instead, so that's why I had to activate the thing where it's now glowing on the screen beneath the picture of Jian. And if you don't find an enemy with time that clock runs around, another enemy will reappear on the field. So you can abuse it, I suppose, and make enemies constantly keep reappearing in one area. But if you leave out um, the field and go to like a village or something, they'll reappear in full anyway, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference if you want to use that or not, in my opinion. Uh, 
I suppose it's to your benefit if there's like a statue or something nearby you can heal yourself with. Also, those things drop like their tails and their one item in a lot of things, but it's a very rare drop, so I honestly just skip jobs on those. I don't think any of these drop cards I really care about either. This one, I just want to be a bit stronger. Well, at least we got a decent combat theme here, I guess. What are you doing? Defending? Didn't seem to work very well. Well, you're out. Just gonna do a little fly. And yes, Gian's your main damage dealer. And then when you get to a point of the game where he can't do his acrobatics and land three blows, it really sucks. Because he does so much more damage than any of the other characters. By like, a large margin. I know which way to go to Parrot Village, but I think I'm going to head over the other way first to hit up the statue for some healing. Because we're going to be taking a lot of abuse trying to get over to the village, because I want to level up right now as fast as possible. I'm going to want a few levels, you know, before we go after the first boss in the game. Which means this trip's going to be a bit more um, battle-heavy than I might like otherwise. Oh yeah, kick it in the face. Who knew being acrobatic could make you such a great fighter? As for Lucia, she specializes in magic, so mostly healing and buffing spells. But I'm not too worried about buffing my stats right now, and I don't know if she even has any abilities unlocked that can be used for that stuff just yet. Alright, anyways, over this way. Well, I'll find them all, after all. Jeez. And who wants to bet, bet Gian's attack's gonna go on the one enemy that he can probably knock out with a single hit? No, it didn't. Interesting. But the AI is not always that smart. A lot of times it wastes attacks. Why is that thing being so defensive? See what I mean? I have my strongest character hit the enemy that's almost dead. And most healing abilities and stuff in this game cost a ridiculous amount of MP, considering how little you always have of it. I think at most you'll be able to get a character that's up to about maybe 100 MP by the time you start getting near the end game. It's been a while though, so I might be a bit off, but yeah, you'll never have a ton of MP on Jin or any of the characters that are meant to be like your mages. So you don't usually use their abilities that much. It's a bit messed up. Oh yeah, they're almost out of health. But we can heal on this statue back to full strength. Um, Sandra up ahead. Huge rocks have been scattered everywhere. Who would do such a thing? Who could? The Sasquatches. They went that way. Nothing doing here. This road is impassable for the moment. We need someone to move those rocks. Well, it ain't gonna be me. Okay. Um. Oh, there you are. Hemi's actually running away from me. Oh, sweet. I didn't even read what was in the chest, but I'm guessing it would be useful, so maybe. Okay, it'll beat you up. 
I'll probably not bother going back to get that chest earlier. I mentioned that you can unlock by beating all the enemies in this field. On the grounds, it'll take up even more time, and I don't want to run too much on the grounds that, again, it hurts your health. There are cards you can get that can counteract this effect, but it's really annoying that you actually have to go get the cards that do running without being it to your disadvantage. Actually, it's pretty ridiculous. I suppose. Oh, jeez. Just got my way, Beelzebub. Ah. Uh, a little birdie. Which, every time I think about it, makes me think of rats, you know, when he's threatening Piccolo. Watch the birdie! Jeez, I can't believe I still remember that far back in Dragon Ball Z. I guess that shows how iconic Rats was as an opponent, even if he didn't last very long. Where's my last opponent in here? Come on, I want him. Plus, if you clear out an area, you get some healing. Not a ton, but some. Is it back over this way? It's not on the other side of the bridge, much to my annoyance. Oh yeah, it's over there by the chest itself. Well, that's why I said I guess I will pick it up. I thought these would all be closer to the exit towards Parrot Village. You're going down. For glory! For free stuff. And free healing. Will I get to jump on them or something? Oh yeah, level 4. And this is going to be our entire party for a while. Um, those might be better than our current equipment. Oh yeah, you gotta go into status, I think, no. Item? It's been a while. Oh yeah. Pack up by 10, eh? Well, I guess those clogs were useful. And awfully, I didn't have to run and lose most of my health that I just got back. Making the net gain of health about zero. Yay. But once you clear an enemy, the enemies won't respawn, like I said, until you, like, exit the field. Uh... Uh, there's a chest over there. Must be some errant way to get over there. At some point. Well, let's just head over to Parrot Village now. Need to get more intel going on here. That leads to the dragon area, I think. Yeah. We don't need to go there just yet. There's no work for you at the moment. Item shop. Um, ready for anything? I love how you guys just saw all the same stuff the other one does. But you can't make any money from fights unless you're getting items and you can sell or do um, yeah, express jobs, which really sucks. Um, nothing here. Goss statues over here, along with some ladies that like to gossip. There's some trouble in these woods of lace. It seems like there's actually a thief in there. Why else would he call it Thieves Woods? Seriously. Say something, dearie? About the giant in Thieves Woods? Oh, 
Um, I'm not too worried about my life right now. Okay, whatever. There's gotta be someone that has useful information in this town for us. Oh dear, this is troubling, most troubling. Is there no brave young soul with a gumption to solve this problem? Eh? N no? What about you? Now it isn't even safe to go shopping. Okay, anyone upstairs got anything? I know the culprit, of course. This is the work of that Sasquatch. Sasquatch? Oh yes, yeah, a fearsome monster currently making Deldrick Temple its home. Deldrick Temple? That's right. Once a place of worship with the four dragons. Four dragons? You don't know much, do you? Cool white in the north, deep blue for the south, flame red in the east, and the night black for the west. I see. As a temple is hardly used nowadays, the Sasquatch had taken it for its nest. And that's the one causing all the recent trouble? The very same. And it's causing me no lack of sleepless nights. In fact, well... But no, I could never ask such a thing. Oh, you can't just say that and then stop. Please go on. Don't leave us hanging like this. Ah, oh, maybe. No, no, I could never. Very well, then. We shall defeat this monster for you. But that was exactly what I was going to... However did you know... It's obviously going to happen. I was just speeding the process up a bit. Ah, uh, well, very well, then. Hunter and Mitch should have moved the rocks in the thieves' woods by now. The way to Delrick Temple should be open. Then we'll head straight over there. Just a final word of warning. Please take due care in this matter. Those rocks were placed there by the Sasquatch, so he's obviously extremely strong. I want to see you come back alive. Understood. Understood. And I send my hopes with you. And next time, I guess we'll make her way towards Delrich Temple and begin the process of trying to clear it out. Until then, see ya.